Ah, good afternoon guys, a uh, short video on uh, my latest uh, acquisition for astrophotography. It's a copy or a similar or a knockoff or whatever you want to call it of the ZWO 120 colour. Um, now I got it from uh, via AliExpress. Uh, it came from China via Singapore to Thailand. Uh, took 12 days. No, I lied. 10 days. I'm very, very pleased. But, sorry, very pleased with that. Very good. Uh, package is a bit damaged, but the contents appear to be okay. So, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, folks? I will let you know later on how it pans out, but it might be some time. Because <laughs> this is all new to me. I'm literally in the dark. Okay? Now I'm always very wary about opening um, any parcel, any package in fact. So I just use a very um, small razor and just go around the edge very very gently to get through the, um, well, there it is and as you can see it is damaged um, so let's find a way in oh, there we go well now it's opened up you can see what we have inside now it, it's really diminutive I thought it would be a bit bigger than this but um, it's better really because I need lightweight I need lightweight um, I can't lug stuff around anymore so that's good for me now there's a CD or mini CD which um, I'm not sure if it'll, my computer will download that if not I believe you can download everything from the internet so that's no problem you can see the actual size of the camera itself I mean it's tiny uh, I'm not going to get it out now and mess with it at this moment but you can see there are connections to your guide your guiding and the connection to your computer there the two leads required to do that lens and a couple of odd bibs and bobs and some screws which I don't know what are used for as yet so there you are, they have it now in actual fact although the, the box is damaged it's, it's beautifully wrapped well as you can see I've taken everything out of the box now and um, we'll start with the simplest bit first now these three thumb screws go in the three holes around this retaining ring they fit very well the threads good they're great ideal however with the toughness the stiffness of that ring that it's got some sort of um, o-ring or uh, rubber washer or felt washer uh, between the ring and the body here and it's so stiff I doubt if you'll ever ever need those um, thumb screws but they're there anyway well the lens <coughs> unscrews quite simply like so and inside you can see the sensor and various bits of wiring etc and on the side here there's a scale you can see that the scale going there and I that's in millimeters now on the back of the camera we have um, two ports the lower one uh, connects to the mount you have your motorized mount and the top port connects to your computer for guiding or for just just for using for astrophotography either so that's it that's the basics now the fun bit as you can see there's the filter there um, I'm not sure what that's for you'll have to check that out yourself uh, uh, if I do find out I'll um, put it on towards the end of the video but there you are there's that unscrew so there's your extension tube there's your filter which is part of the extension tube I guess and this thing here is um, some sort of a reducer to reduce the amount of light coming in and that just, just simply screws straight on to your tube just like that um, like I say I don't really know what that's for 
and that is threaded inside and I've tried all of these uh, components here and nothing seems to fit into that thread but the threads are very coarse on this camera I mean you have to be really really careful so you don't um, over tighten anything or cross thread cross threading would be the main thing as your filter screwed in and then your extension tube like so now what this um, this is some sort of adapter or it might be an extension tube a small one I don't know but nothing seems to fit into it nothing that we have here anyway so that I'm rather baffled by that one ah what's this oh there you go I don't know if you can see that the filter is like a pinky color so I wonder if that's to uh, cut out IR light or increase IR light I'm not sure okay so there's your, your basics I hope you've got that because that's taking <laughs> a lot for me to explain so we'll have a break there now I've just popped the um, camera into my new guide scope this is a Datasun guide scope which I shall be doing a review on later on hopefully <coughs> um, now I've just used the basics just to show you so I've no filters or extension tubes or anything so it just slides in like so you adjust the um, focus roughly by moving this ring back and forth along the tube uh, when you get it near enough in focus for example there tighten down on the thumb screws to make sure everything fits snugly and then you can finally, finally adjust with a helical focuser like so if you can't quite get it in focus adjust this ring slightly back and forth whatever and there's the two leads running into the back of the camera that's it I'm sorry this video is a bit bitty but um, I've <laughs> been blundering around with this so uh, at least I hope it's helpful for you and like I say for $99 US I, for a little bit of trial I've had with the, with the camera it's, it's absolutely fine I just can't wait for dark skies and clear skies now what I'll do is if I can find uh, or if I can download the specs for you I'll pop those at the end of this video um, because there is nothing in the box all the instructions uh, on, on the CD-ROM are um, uh, for the ZW optics uh, camera <coughs> uh, so we're a bit flummoxed it's trial and errors anyway hope that helps you through that okay all right guys I'm just gonna add an appendix to this um, video I did try the uh, camera out on my 80 uh, millimeter Skywatch Apo um, just connected up to the computer to see how it ran and I, I managed to focus on a palm palm tree about 250 meters away or so say 250 yards and I could pick out clearly walking on a palm stem um, ants uh, you could see the antenna the hairs on their legs everything it was absolutely crystal clear and I tried the lens out very briefly but I couldn't get the um, I couldn't seem to get the uh, f-stop down but uh, d to get a decent photo but it, it focuses okay and everything's okay you know so yes I'm very very pleased with it okay Well, thank you a lot for watching this video um, if it's of any interest to you perhaps you'd like to visit my YouTube channel and uh, maybe leave a comment a like or a um, subscription anyway there are many many more um, videos on my channel so perhaps I may have used you thanks for watching bye